Do you think you are the only one whose racket breaks? Ale Galan, former world number one, also breaks his racket. Do you think this player should change his racket? The answer is very easy in both cases. But what happens when our rackets are not broken? Does a racket perform worse after one year playing with it? When and why should I change my racket? And when and why professional paddle players change their rackets? Hello to all players, I'm Pablo and I welcome you to a new four set. To understand when we should change our rackets, first we need to understand how they are made. Because paddle rackets are made of different materials. And the most important in my opinion is the rubber. A harder rubber will last longer in better conditions than a softer rubber. Why is that? Well, I will explain it later. Then there are the fiber layers, carbon fiber or fiberglass. Well, all these materials behave differently depending on the conditions. If we play outdoors and it is sunny and very hot, our rackets will get softer because the materials will expand. If we play in very cold weather, our rackets will become hard because the materials will contract. So, temperature changes are very harmful to our rackets. That is why we should always try to store our rackets in a dry and warm place. Because who is the worst enemy of our rackets? The trunk of our car. The trunk of our car is a place with many temperature changes, so the materials of our rackets will suffer a lot. I leave here this video so you can learn some tips to take care of your racket. But do rackets lose their properties over time? The answer is clear and is yes. In 2022, a scientific study was carried out in which 8 different paddle rackets were tested. The rackets were new but were impacted with compressed air 500 times simulating a real shot. After the 500 impacts, the variation in the performance of the material was analyzed. There were three models that varied between 0 and 6% in performance, but there were three other models that varied between 16 and 25%. Can you imagine hitting the ball 500 times and your racket changed their performance by 25%? That is simply crazy. So how do rackets lose properties? Let's think about a shoe or a sneaker. The sole of a sneaker is made of rubber just like a racket. When you buy a new shoe, the sole is perfect and very reactive. But as time goes by, the sole cracks and loses its reactivity. And the same happens with paddle rackets. The rubber with time and impacts loses reactivity and becomes softer. That is why I said before that a hard rubber will last longer in better conditions than a soft rubber. So when I should change my paddle racket? Actually there are some different reasons to answer this question. The first and the most obvious one is when our racket breaks. But at the same time there are some different breaks. For example, don't panic if your racket shows some cracks in the paint. It is a purely cosmetic defect and will not affect your performance. Be concerned when you detect a crack between holes or in the frame of the racket. It is very easy to detect this type of crack and at the same time it is very dangerous. Sometimes we could continue playing because the crack is not big enough or we can change the side of the racket. But I would not recommend it to you because the vibrations increase much more and we have risks of getting injured. But can a paddle racket be repaired? Yes, but also I wouldn't recommend it to you. There are different companies that place new carbon fiber in the area of the crack, but the performance of this carbon fiber is going to be different. So in my opinion, unfortunately, if your racket breaks, it's better to buy a new one. But what happens when our racket is not broken? Should I change it? Yes, remember that paddle rackets loses their properties over time. No matter how much we take care of our rackets, as we play with them, the responsiveness is affected. But what does this mean? That our rackets become softer. And with a softer racket, we will lose control and power. This is something we can avoid and it will vary depending on how we use our rackets. Playing five matches per week is not the same that playing just one. Or it's not the same to have Arturo Coelho's power than mine. Arturo is going to demand much more from his racket than I do from mine. So the materials of Arturo's racket are going to lose their properties before my racket does, both in terms of power and hours of use. But what trick do professional paddle players use? They always have two, three models of the same racket and use them the same amount of time. That way, if a racket breaks during a match, they can use another one with the same use 
and the same wear and tear of the materials. So if you really, really, really like your racket and you can have two of it, it will be ideal. But how long lasts a padded racket before you need to change it? Here are two answers. Is your racket broken? If it's broken, change it now. Because if you don't do it, you will get injured and it will be worse. And remember, don't try to repair it because it's not a tennis racket. Second option is when our racket is not broken, when should I change it? The easiest answer is when it affects your game. Are you a new player or you play once a month? Just enjoy it and forget about your racket because you won't notice something different. Do you play well and play between 2 and 3 games per week? So it will depend on how you take care of your rackets and how you play. But we can think that the logical thing to do will be to change your racket every year. You should notice that your rackets are getting softer and they do not respond as well as they did a few months ago. As soon as this can affect your game, it is better to change it. How many rackets do a professional paddle player use every season? Watch out because a professional paddle player can use between 20 and 30 paddle rackets every year. But why so many because that is more than one racket per month? Well, professional paddle players obviously feel every little detail with their rackets. Think that they train and compete every day at the highest level. Every detail counts and if not, listen to the legend Fernando Velasteguin. No voy siempre con tres palas porque como entreno siempre con tres palas para que estén siempre igual. Yo en el entrenamiento uso 10 minutos cada paleta porque si se me rompe una, la que sigue jugando está exactamente igual, tiene la misma cantidad de tiempo de uso y en los torneos me pasa igual, lo, lo único que cambia, por ejemplo, en este torneo que vi que iba a ser muchísimo calor, me traje tres paletas nuevas para que la goma esté un poquito más dura, porque con la temperatura y con la humedad se terminan ablandando. Cuando se me rompe una, cambio las tres, las otras dos usadas queda y se las suelo dar a algún amigo y eso y voy cambiando de 3 en 3 para que estén siempre iguales. Is it a good idea to buy a new paddle racket? It will always depend on how the seller have taken care of it. Since you probably cannot know, I wouldn't recommend it to you. If you buy a new racket from a friend that you know he cares about his racket, then it's fine. If not, it is better to lower your budget and buy a new racket than to risk buying a used one that you don't know its real condition. Is it a good idea to buy a new racket but from the last season? Obviously yes because of the price savings, but we must be careful about how the racket has been preserved. But at the end obviously it's a smart idea to save money. Do you have any doubt? Leave it in the comments and thank you for watching the video. See you in the next one. Ciao!